I am Adam, your medical kid here. Today, if you want, if you actually think you have some of these conditions of these skin colors, and you're thinking your skin color of your of your hand or skin color itself is not good, and it's actually pretty dangerous, and you think that there's something wrong with you, don't watch this video. If you want an actual professional that knows who they're talking about, and you click on this video thinking I'm a professional, I'm a 13 year old boy who's making, who is sitting on his kitchen table making a video. So, yeah, so if you wanted someone who's a professional and you want to watch a video that of someone who knows what they're actually doing and doesn't, and doesn't actually copy and paste their information from Google, go watch this video. Go click on someone else's, like Bill, Bob, and Brad, the two most physical pit therapists on the internet. Dun dun. Or one of the other doctors, like Dr. Mike or someone. Go talk with someone, uh, your own doctor, because I'm not a doctor. I'm just a third trainer old boy. Alright, so yeah. Anyway, let's get right to this video. And yes, let's just get right to it. Because I don't want to waste you guys any more time. So this is normal and not normal skin colors with conditions. Because normal skin color is supposed to have some red in it. Some normal pink color with some also white. So yeah, let's just get to this. I'm hoping you guys... Are going to enjoy it. I hope you guys do. Bro. You alright? You alright? Ah! Wait, sorry. Let's get to it now. Alright. So, normal and not normal skin colors with conditions. So, these are most common colors. These are usually and are harmless so these are like normal skin colors which means you're perfectly fine now my skin color right now looks a little bit yellow or kind of orange just because there's a light above me and that makes my skin color look a little bit off but in reality i'm actually have red skin colors so here we go so normal skins are usually black which we're all born with not with, so, uh, most people are born with black and that shouldn't matter i love black people because, you know, it doesn't matter what skin color you are. You're still a human being. And I learned to learn that just because someone has different skin color than you doesn't mean you can treat them any differently. That's not how it is. So there is black and pale, which usually harmless, but usually there are some cases where pale can cause um, vitamin B deficiency, which also known as vitamin B anemia. And a whole bunch of anemia can cause pale skin and sickness. But again, pale skin can also be normal. A lot of people are born pale. Another one is light brown, so near black, not really black. Um, there's also dark brown as well. There are some you're born with and is the way you are. So these are mainly going to be the ones that you are. So these are normal. And now these are not so normal skin colors. These are mostly dangerous or can be. So these aren't like fully dangerous yet. These are going to be like ones that you wouldn't really, I mean ones you basically have and isn't life threatening. So let's get to it. So skin, so green skin, sick like skin, can, causes are usually harmless but these can be deadly such as hypochromic anemia and multi-organ failure. So, hypochromic anemia, I haven't really done a lot of research on it, but I do know it's a type of anemia, and all types of anemia have to have some type of medical treatment immediately, or at least if you have it for a while, because any fucking anemia can cause death in just a matter of days, and anemia basically means you have a deficiency in some type of vitamin you need, so like, it could be one in... Um, iron, there could be one with vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin A, every vitamin there is, there could be deficiency. So that's why you gotta try to eat stuff with those type of vitamins in there to keep your vitamin level up. And with anemia, any type of anemia can cause that, right? But not, and in particular, this one in particular could cause green skin, hypochromic anemia. Now multi-organ failure means your liver is shutting down, your livers, yeah, you're basically, your liver is failing, your kidney is failing, your kidneys are failing, your spleen is failing, your, and much more. Now, your organ is also your brain. So, I don't want to I think whenever you're dying, your brain starts to shut down, your mental state, everything starts to shut down. 
and much more, but these are some and probably most likely more dangerous than some others. So yeah. Yellow skin. So this is jaundice. Now I put these here so you know here. So one is cirrhosis of the liver. Um this is common with yellow skin, so not saying liver cirrhosis of the liver itself is rare. But for the this is like in particular of yellow skin. So yellow skin for cirrhosis of the liver is common, so you most likely will have this with cirrhosis of the liver. Or it could be the light that is shining off your uh kitchen or whatever. Now liver cancer. This is very rare to have yellow skin with liver cancer. Which again can be very hard to determine. Because again, you wouldn't you don't want cirro you don't even want yellow skin. Then long do you want liver cancer? But I feel like it'd be a little bit better to know that liver cancer could cause yellow skin so then you can eliminate most of the obvious. But now if you have liver cancer it kinda is like do you have it or don't you? Do you have multi organ failure or don't you, you know? Malaria. I think that's how you say it. Malaria? Malaria? Yeah, malaria. Um, very rare. So this is super rare to have yellow skin. This, is, I mean, of course, it's yellow fever. This was an actual, there's a book about it, which I read in seventh grade last year. But there's also a, an entire yellow, there's also a yellow fever. There's also a fever called yellow fever that can particularly cause malaria. I uh, not want to say malaria, but there's a yellow fever that can, is mainly caused by mosquitoes back in the day. And back in the day, people didn't have the medications and treatment that we have these days. So it was very, 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 very dangerous back then. You mainly would die. But malaria is very rare. It usually caused by mosquito bites. They're not particular or mosquitoes themselves bites that dangerous. They could cause itchiness and much more. But sometimes mosquito bites can, in fact, be deadly and can cause some deadly infections and deadly anything really it could cause anything deadly so that's why you have to look out for the particular bite um hype hepatitis hepatitis is also common for yellow skin and policy the um, policy but policy themia yeah policy themia yeah polycythemia polycythemia is very rare now polycythemia i actually didn't do my research on that either i always just put these down so i'm just not gonna i mean i will go deep in in depth with some of these topics like cirrhosis of the liver and later on videos so then you can really get in get in depth with what it is and get in touch with what it was um all of these are still around so you can still get any of these the really super dangerous skin colors. These ones that need immediate treatment. So these means that these are ones you cannot wait any longer or else you could potentially pass away from. So these are like the serious ones that like go to the fucking ER. Um, it's indeed going to be blue skin. I think a lot of us can agree blue skin is not fucking normal. Blue skin either means you're choking to death, which means you're being deprived of oxygen because your airways are being clogged up with food, which means you cannot breathe right. Therefore, you're potentially going to die from blue skin in just a matter of hours. So another one is chronic respiratory disease, such as asthma and COPD. Now, COPD is not really that common in kids, but again, any of these can happen in kids. Asthma is very common in kids. I have a friend that in elementary, he had to always have an inhaler before gym because he basically had really bad asthma. And sudden infections in your airways, such as ammonia. Ammonia is very fucking life-threatening. I mean, ammonia can be seriously deadly. And it, it can be as deadly as COPD, chronic respiratory disease. It can just be as bad. No, wait. Isn't it chronic respiratory disease, COPD? Or is that chronic, or I forget what COPD is. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's chronic respiratory disease. But, again, I could be very, very wrong. COPD, COPD could be some whole other thing. Another one is, again, we talked about this. You guys should have seen it coming on the list. It's severe anemia, or low bl red blood cell count. So, again... Yeah, for in order for your your blood count to be good, you have to have good vitamins. To have good vitamins equals a very good fucking healthy life. For your bones will not fucking break that much. 
Of course, your bones will break if you don't drink milk, and milk has good vitamins for you, and so does water. Well, I mean, water may not have any vitamins, but it does fucking help your hydration. Next up, it's exposure to certain poisonings. So, certain poisons such as cyanide. Cyanide are usually in, like, cherries or berries, and they have, like, these roots, or you have to, you cannot eat a certain part of them because they can contain a high amount of cyanide. And cyanide can kill you in just a matter of minutes. Cyanide is one of the most poisonous and most dangerous poisons your body can ever get, in, get basically get in, in, ta in contact to. So another one is Raynaud's Syndrome, a condition that can restrict blood flow to your fingers or toes. Now, this could be life-threatening, but at the same time, this is not life-threatening. This is a very common one that causes your, your basically your, your, you know, your restrict blood flow it really isn't that well to begin with. So it basically isn't something that you should be worrying about. So you should get checked out for these if you have this. Another one is dark bluish red skin color cyanosis so this is usually because you're being deprived of oxygen which means no oxygen or low oxygen so if your skin is turning like dark bluish red it's probably because you're being deprived of oxygen so that's like not being able to breathe so again these two are kind of in particular to each other like COPD and all these stuff can cause blue skin but these two in particular are kind of close to each other kind of like twins so they can, they're both caused by the similar outcomes of low oxygen and being deprived. So yeah, now this particular, you're not going to be deprived of oxygen with blue skin, of course, because in order for these to happen, you have to have them, okay? But asthma can make it hard to breathe. COPD can also infect your lungs, which basically your respiratory is like your lungs, and that can kill you. Um, it's, and so infections in the airway also can do so. So that's why it's always good to get checked out if you have this. Because you never really know what it could potentially be unless you actually find out, you know, the truth. So thank So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. If you like today's video, let me know what you want to see next. I got one or two more videos coming up of these and then one more reactions and I think I'll be done. Or maybe I'll do reactions tomorrow or do two more of these. I don't know. But I just know I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hyperhidrosis.